Okay, I hadn't did a video in a long time. This is cooking with Miss Peaches. Um, I'm making my own Korean soup, so uh, I want to show you what I have in this platter. I have cilantro in the middle. I have tofu, onions, bean sprouts, spinach, oyster mushrooms, and I have jalapeno peppers and red peppers and artesian orange peppers. And over here, I have squid. And over here, I have crab cake. And then here, I have quail eggs. And here, I have um, Napa cabbage. And then in my rice cooker, of course, there's rice, white rice. And this is my sesame seed oil that I put on top. And I also make my own broth. And what I do is I put the rice in the bottom. Not always. A lot of times it's just the veggies without rice. Or sometimes I do glass noodles. But you take your, make your broth first. And I also in my broth I put my uh, garlic already in the broth. So, you know, it, it helps season it. And so I put the rice in the bowl. Then I put all the veggies in there. And then I do um, broth over the top and then sesame seed oil. Okay, here's my rice bowl here with my soup spoon. So you just add everything you want in it. It's a little spinach, oyster mushrooms. You can put how many you want, whatever you like. Bean sprouts. Well, I like bean sprouts on the top, but I'm going to go ahead and do my bean sprouts since I said it. A little tofu. Um, some onions, Napa cabbage, okay. orange artesian peppers, red peppers, and some jalapenos. You don't have to do all those peppers if you don't like really spicy stuff, but I do. So I have three quail eggs. Um, some crab cake and squid. I don't want a whole lot of um, seafood in it, but that's what I do. Then I come over here and I get my hot broth that I already have made. It has uh, garlic in it and also I already have a little bit of uh, sesame seed oil in it. It gives that flavor. It makes it the house smell like you are picking Asian food and I also have some red peppers in case I want to spice it up so this is what I do after I get everything in the bowl I pour hot broth over it so it helps soften up the veggies so you don't have to cook the veggies and not only that yeah a lot of your nutrients are still in the veggies see I pour the hot broth over until I actually see the broth over the top of my veggies like this should do it Okay, and then I take my sesame seed oil and just squirt it, just a little extra on it. And and if you have sesame seeds, you put, you put sesame seeds over the top. So this is how I do my uh, Korean soup or Asian soup, whatever you want to call it. But and it is very very good. So this is cooking with Miss Peaches. Until next time.